We've got breaking news out of Major League Baseball where Manny Machado has agreed to a massive contract extension with the San Diego Padres. Our MLB insider Jim Bowden confirms that the 30-year-old third baseman will get an 11-year deal worth $350 million. Now Machado joined the Padres in free agency before the 2019 season but was set to opt out of his contract if he didn't get another long-term deal with San Diego. It's just the latest big deal for the Padres who are still seeking their first World Series title in franchise history. For more on this signing, let's bring in MLB analyst Will Middlebrooks. Will, first, uh, your thoughts on Machado's uh, new deal going from $30 million a year to, well, a little bit more than that uh, with this new $350 million 11-year contract. Not surprised whatsoever this was a play by machado in spring training day one he's there he's in front of all the media and goes hey guess what guys i'm opting out well that's that was a play that was on purpose to put pressure on the front office to get a job uh, a deal done before uh spring training started but uh, a lot of people have been looking at machado and soto and they're like the padres have to pick one of them i don't think so i think the san diego padres have shown that they will overextend themselves and they will sign as many people as they can, elite players in this window to, to be big brother to, to the Dodgers. Now, they got to prove that first, but they're well on their way. With On paper, they're better right now. 22 games back of the Dodgers, they finished in the NL West last year. I mean, they've been very free with their money, Will, as you mentioned, kind of overextending themselves. Machado here, Bogarts gets a big deal, Darvish, the Tatis extension. They appear to be the only team that want to go head-to-head with the likes of the Mets and the Yankees when it comes to making these big deals. So overall, what does that tell you about this particular window that they're in? That, that's the thing. It's window. That's what we're talking about. Their ownership group and A.J. Preller. A.J. Preller has been known to be a rock star GM and go out and do whatever it takes to, to get elite talent. Now, you look at this five, six-year window, they view this as their time. So, yes, they will overextend Manny Machado, Xander Bogarts. They're going to be there till they're 41 years old. Infielders, I mean, you can only have one DH. So, uh, I don't know what you're going to do towards the end of that those contracts. But Fernando Tatis Jr., let's not forget about him on a 14-year deal till he's 35. Um, 35, not 41, but this is just them showing we will dish out the big bucks to su- make sure we can secure at least one World Series, maybe two, because, I mean, you look at even it down there pitching, down their rotation, when you're number four and five or Nick Martinez and Michael Walker, Michael Walker was 11 and three with a 3-3 last year, and he's at the end of your rotation. You're sitting pretty. What about the fact there's no opt-outs in this deal, Will? What does that tell you about, about things with Machado and kind of where the Padres see him? As a fan, that tells me that's amazing. He wants to be here. Now, I know Machado. I played against him for years when he was a young kid with Baltimore. Uh, I know his fire. He gets a bad rep, but he's, he's really grown into a man and into a player that he is now and a big leaguer. And um, that, that, for him to be able to – some guys, it's not good for guys to get comfortable. Guys like Machado, when they're comfortable, I think we see a better side of him. Uh, when he's comfortable, he plays better. Now, he's uh, no opt-outs. No, I, I don't want to worry about anything. I just want to play ball. I love San Diego. We're going to see a very good side, very lot of, uh, a big side of upside is the word I'm looking for with Machado over the next few years. Uh, that infield is, is very, very, very good. Over uh, 30 home runs last year, over 100 runs scored, finished with a 298 batting average. Uh, the team made it to the wild card, then they get all the way to the championship series before losing to the Phillies. But with Machado now locked down for the foreseeable future, again, no opt-outs in this deal. How does this team look heading into 2023 as they do look to bring that first title to San Diego? I mean, they're right there with the Mets, in my opinion. I mean, I mean, they're, the firepower, you look at their, I mean, you Darvish, Musgrove, Snell, it's going to come down to pitching. I think the offense will be there. I think they are odds favorites to, to win this division, even over the Dodgers. Dodgers had somewhat of a slow offseason. They're getting some arms back with Bueller and May coming back from, from injuries at some point this year. Uh, but I think the Padres are the favorites in that division. You know, And with this playoff structure, you win a division, You maybe you get the best record, you get a buy in the first round, you're sitting pretty once the postseason gets here with that pitching depth. So it's going to be about health with that rotation. I think their bullpen is very good. This is a very well-rounded baseball team. Our CBS baseball analyst, Will Middlebrooks, joining us to discuss the contract extension for Manny Machado as he is now money Machado in wow. San Diego. Will, thanks for hopping on with us. Uh, appreciate you joining us here on HQ. We will have more HQ coming up on the other side. 
Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.